see. This was an unexpected turn of events. <laughs> yeah, just slightly. So, uh, let's get a look at that fancy uniform. It's an ID badge and everything. Oh, state of Ohio. Yes, I work for the government now. He took his dream job. Yeah. I mean, if you remember about a year or so ago, I went to training to be a CDL examiner. And during training, they offered me a job. At the time, I turned it down. Well, the opportunity came around again, applied, went through the whole process, and here I am. My official job title is CDL field rep, but I'm currently being trained in uh, Class D licensing, which is in Ohio is just your regular operator's license for like driving a car. So for the next probably two weeks, I'm gonna be doing license test, you know, for like 16 year olds all the way up to adults, getting their Class D license and motorcycle tests. Because I have to know how to do that because I'm going into this job being hired on as a level two examiner. So once that's done, I will be assigned my permanent check-in location, which will be at your uh, license exam station. What does suck is I will be working Saturdays while I'm training. Wah, wah. So that's probably gonna hurt our ability to go camping. It's crushed my soul. However, once I'm done training, I should be on a Monday through Friday schedule. Right, which would be great. Yes, it, it would be great. It's gonna hurt a little bit, but... Not for long. So you're probably wondering, are we still gonna go full-time? Well, I think I'm gonna put it on hold because I didn't wanna not take this job and regret not doing it. So I'm gonna try the job. If I like it, then that's what I'm gonna do. If I don't like it, then maybe I'll just do a year and then out I go. But now I have a really good pension and a really good retirement and really good benefits and amazing paid time off. Which plays well into our travel schedule. Yeah, so we're still gonna be able to travel. Right, which is very important. And now he'll actually be able to earn just as much, if not more time off than me, which is great. Yeah, as a truck driving school instructor, I really didn't have very good time off. No. I, I, we were taking time off, or I was taking time off to travel that was unpaid. Right. So that kind of did suck a little bit. In other news, our house, the status of the house went from for sale to pending. Woohoo! So that's currently in progress. Uh, obviously it's pending, so we still have couple of steps to take for the buyer to fulfill. Yeah, I was pretty shocked that we got an offer on the place. It wasn't a very good offer, but it's an offer nonetheless. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't... What we want. I, yeah, like ideal. <laughs> it wasn't bad enough for us to say no. Yeah. It's... We had our limits and it, it didn't meet that threshold. So that's gonna bring up another question. I'm doing this job, so why are we selling the house? Right. Well, there's something else in the works, but I don't want to say yet because it's not done. It's just like this house isn't sold yet, it's just pending, it's not done. Right. So once things are done done, then we'll let you guys in on what that is. Should be done done very, very soon. Should be. Yes. Should be. Right. I really don't think anything's gonna change, but that's the way it is for now. This is what we're doing, good, bad, or indifferent. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of you guys that are disappointed because our whole entire plan was sell everything and go full time. And we thought that Lynn's job was gonna come to an end at the power plant. But of, of which, still unknown. Still unknown. By the way. And it's, it, I can't speak for Lynn, but for me, it'd be super hard to walk away from a job that makes over a hundred grand a year. I don't think I could do it. Well, you could if you would make just as much on the road, which is what I would do. But that's kind of unknown too. 
Yeah, there's a lot of unknowns. I'm and not. I'm putting my dream on hold so that Mike can have his dream job, and then eventually we'll meet in the middle. I mean, I'm not like a worrier. I don't need to have this all planned out and everything. I just, I wanted to try this. I wanted right. to do this. And I wasn't going to be the one to say, no, you're not, because where's that? That's not my place to say. You would never do that to me. I'm not going to do that to you. Yeah, and what I will be doing at this job is going to third party test sites like where I used to work and just drop in and it's kind of like oversight. I audit their paperwork. I do ride alongs with their examiners to make sure they are conducting the test appropriately. If they don't, I get to write them up. That's kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're both basically in oversight because that's technically my job description as well. Yeah, my job is going to consist of a lot of traveling all over Ohio, just dropping into these test sites. And if there's a license exam station that is low on help one day, I might have to go in and help them do class D tests. I mean, that's fine too. It just kind of breaks up the monotony. Right. But for this weekend, the weather is not favorable in Ohio. No, we were going to take the Airstream out, even though I only would be working tomorrow, which is Saturday. I'd be working six hours, but I figured I'll just get up, go to work, come back to the campground, spend the rest of the time there. But it's cold. It's windy. It's been raining all day. It's been raining all week. Yeah, it's been raining nonstop. The Shrags are camping. And he posted a picture of um, waterfront uh, property. <laughs> waterfront property, which it's not supposed to be, but it is. Right. No <laughs> campfires in that campfire room. <laughs> yeah. So if the weather improves sometime soon, we are itching to get back out there and camp again. And right now, we've got to kind of pack up this house because someone bought it. Yeah, we got to get to packing. I mean, it's pretty empty in here, but there's still more to pack. That's true. And throw away. <laughs> yeah. We're still, uh, I am more minimal. I like to keep things simple. Get rid of things. We've both thrown away a ton of stuff. Right. And, and there's no plan to get more. And our future goals are to still go full time. So we're not going to accumulate yeah. stuff. We're, we're still. That's our end goal. Trying to go down that path of being full time. But there's, I mean, you can plan all you want. Doesn't right. mean it's gonna happen. That it way. could be in a year. It could be in five years. We don't. We just can't say. It, it'll happen. It's just not gonna happen now. What's your favorite thing to say, Mikey? If it's meant to be, it'll be. That's what he loves to say. I say it all the time. Lynn hates it. I do. I <laughs> he do. hates it. I'm more. It will happen if you make it happen. <laughs> type of person. <laughs> but anyway. That's our little update for now. Nothing exciting, I'm sorry. Not but. too exciting, but we will definitely have more to show. Yeah, for sure. Very soon. Today is April 28th, Sunday. We were really hoping, next time we talk to you guys, that we have better news. Yeah, that's for sure. And I apologize in advance. I am recording this off of my iPhone. So it's not our usual quality. It might be a little bit shaky. So anyway, last night at about 1.30 yeah. a.m., we were sleeping. We went to bed at 9.30 because we we're lame. Yeah. <laughs> Friday night. Woo! Go to bed at 9.30. <laughs> so about 1.30, I heard a boom. And... Guy jumped up, Lynn jumped up. I didn't know what it was. I was just like, what? what's you happening? Went, you went back to sleep. And then the kitchen light came on and then I heard Lynn crying a little bit and that, that got me up. So I went out to the kitchen and Wolf was on the floor. That's what that boom was. She just collapsed. She wasn't gone yet when I found her, but pretty close to it so at least I was there with her for her final moments yeah so uh, I mean, it was 1 30 in the morning I got a camping blanket out and we wrapped her up and when it was daylight we 
came out to Lynn's parents' property. This is where we boondocked. Sorry. This is where we boondocked a couple times, and it was probably Wolf's favorite place. That's for sure. She really loved it here because she was off leash and then run around, and my I mean, parents loved her. And something like I, I can't remember sixty acres or so. Yeah. And they were like Lynn said, they were just off the leash, running around the whole time while we were camping here. It was. It was her favorite place, so that's where we brought her. Plus, with the sale of our house pending, we didn't want to bury her in her backyard and then leave. No, definitely not. That's one thing I knew I didn't want. So, seeing how it's Sunday, it just seemed fitting that all of my other childhood pets had been buried here. It just made sense that our first dog together would be buried here as well yeah she's 13 years old yeah she lived a, a pretty well traveled yeah, well camped life very adventurous yeah but she was a very easy going dog so that was nice which is the opposite of guy who's in the back seat where is he's he laying down yeah <laughs> some of you are probably wondering how wolf or a how Guy is taking Wolf's passing. Uh, it's hard to tell right now because he seemed confused when it happened. He was walking around and crying, basically, you know, whining and crying, like kind of confused as to what was going on. But. And Wolf's health had been declining. But only for a couple of months. It yeah, was... and Friday, no, Saturday. She was doing really, really good. Yeah, she was having a, a blast. She was rolling around in the grass, jumping around. Eating pretty good. Yeah, she was eating fairly decent. Finally found something that she liked. Yeah, and then last night it was, I mean, it was quick. It was... Boom, without warning. I mean, I heard her do her normal thing in the middle of the night, which is she would get up and, you know, change rooms that she would sleep in and get drinks of water and I heard her doing all those same things and out of nowhere is when it happened and it was very quick once it once she fell it was just boom that's it yeah and it was over so for now hopefully <laughs> no more hopefully news. next time we'll have better news if you guys are out camping right now have a cold one for wolf yes please do